What's up, y'all? I am back again with another reaction video. So let me read the title real quick. Why MGK regrets this in Eminem? Yo, this is gonna be good, y'all. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. 2012, Machine Gun Kelly, who was 21 years old at the time, tweeted about Eminem's then 16-year-old daughter, Haley Jade, saying, Okay, so I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter, and I have to say, she is hot as f in the most respectful way possible, because Em is king. Although MGK later deleted the tweet, it had already caught the internet's attention. During a 2015 appearance on Hot 97's Ebro in the Morning, MGK was asked by host Laura Styles about rumors that he was banned from Eminem's radio station, Shade 45, as a result. MGK confirmed that the tweet had consequences, claiming that people refused to review his album or play his music, implying the rumor was true. He stated, Certain yeah. people won't even listen or review this joint. Certain places won't even, you won't even hear Machine Gun Kelly on. Certain things right. won't even happen. Because of that. MGK defended himself, explaining that he was younger at the time and unaware that Haley was only 16 years old. He also argued that the public reaction was blown out of proportion, as the age difference between him and Haley was not significant enough to justify the outrage. During this part of the interview, MGK appeared visibly irritated and seemed to want to say more about Eminem and the situation, but Ebro cut the conversation short, sensing that MGK might say something that could get him into trouble. This is the biggest secret of 2024. And they don't want you to know about this. If you get injured in an accident. In May 2017, MGK dropped a freestyle on LA Leakers where he rapped. I'm my favorite rapper a lot since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45. Then in March 2018, MGK subliminally dissed Eminem on the Tech 9 song No Reason with the lines I pop cherries and pop stars. You popsicles is not hard. Popped in on the top charts out the cop car to remind y'all you just rap. You're not God. This was widely seen as a jab at Eminem, who had famously declared himself a rap god in his 2013 song of the same name. Later that year, in August 2018, Eminem released his album Kamikaze, which featured direct responses to various people he had issues with, including MGK. On the track, Not A Light, Eminem took aim at MGK rapping, but next time you don't gotta use Tech 9 If you wanna come at me with a submachine gun, and I'm talking to you, but you already know who the f you are, Kelly. I don't use sublims, and sure as f don't sneak this, but keep commenting on my daughter Haley. A few days later, Tech 9 quickly denied knowing that MGK had taken shots at Eminem on no reason. Almost two weeks later, on September 3rd, 2018, the feud escalated and captured widespread attention when MGK released the diss track, Rap Devil, aimed at Eminem. The title was a play on Eminem's rap god. In the song, MGK criticized Eminem for taking so long to respond to his 2012 tweet, rapping, Bad about something I said in 2012? Took you six years and a surprise album just to come up with a diss? He also addressed his alleged ban from Shade 45 rapping. Let's talk about the fact you actually blackballed a rapper that's twice as young as you. Let's call Sway, ask why I can't go up to Shade 45 because of you. Let's ask Interscope how you have Paul Rosenberg trying to shelf me. The song sent fans of both Eminem and MGK into a frenzy, as it had been a long time since Eminem had engaged in a full-blown feud with another rapper. Shortly after the release, MGK tweeted, I'm standing up for not just myself, but my generation. I'm doing the same shit you did back in your day. Life is still real on my side, and I had to take time from the grind to defend myself from someone I called an idol, love, rap devil. The reception to the diss track was mixed, with some praising MGK and others trashing the song. Media personality Ebro tweeted, Machine Gun Kelly bodied Eminem, hashtag let's talk about it. The song quickly gained traction, accumulating views and sparking reactions across social media. It reached the number one spot on the iTunes chart for several days after its release, making it one of MGK's most successful songs at that point in his career. Rap Devil became a hit, peaking at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and earning gold certification for seven. Look, I'm not gonna say this. The Rap Devil, the Rap Devil was really good. Like the Rap Devil was like really good. And I'm gonna say this, he did. Ain't gonna lie, he did pretty good. But 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 Eminem didn't respond. I know Eminem didn't respond because he was still working on the new and he was still working. 
he was still working on on that new album called Kamikaze because I heard that album and I ain't gonna lie to you, that Kamikaze album was straight out the gate. He came there at everyone and MGK, so I got to so I gotta give it a good point though. Selling 500,000 copies, eventually going platinum with over a million copies sold. On September 2018, Eminem was interviewed by Sway Calloway, where he addressed the situation and clarified that his dislines on Not Alike were a response to MGK's claims that Eminem was sabotaging his career by banning him from Shea 45 and blackballing him from opportunities. Eminem dismissed these accusations as baseless, explaining that he didn't even give MGK much thought because there were many better rappers than him. He also mentioned that MGK's lines on No Reason added fuel to the fire. Additionally, MGK's LA Leakers freestyle in a tweet in which he said, on the song he said, y'all just rap, you not gods. And on Twitter he said, you just rap, you not god. Had some shit to get off my chest. Push Eminem over the edge, making him feel compelled to respond. During the interview, Eminem was asked for his opinion on Rap Devil, to which he replied, it's not bad for him. He has some good lines in it. He also addressed the accusation that he had called Interscope to try to shelf MGK's album expressing that he felt bad for being blamed for something he hadn't done and called the accusation pitiful. Eminem admitted he was conflicted about responding to MGK because he didn't want to inadvertently make him a bigger star. Two days later, Eminem released Killshot, which was a direct response to Rap Devil. The track was a massive success, breaking YouTube's record for the largest debut for a hip-hop video with 38 million views within its first 24 hours. In Killshot, Eminem took several jabs at MGK, notably comparing him to a stan, an obsessive fan, seeking his attention with the lines, here's that autograph for your daughter, I wrote it on a starter cap, stan stan, son, listen man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? He also responded to MGK's claim that he was old and his last four albums were subpar rapping, but I'm 45 and I'm still out selling you, by 29 I had three albums that had blue. It does make perfect sense though. After Killshot was released, fans and media outlets engaged in debates over which track was better, with some siding with MGK and others with Eminem. 50 Cent commented on the situation, tweeting, Don't act like you didn't know this would happen. Oh my, what have you got yourself into? MGK responded to Killshot on Twitter, implying that Eminem's diss was weak by suggesting it was more like a leg shot than a kill shot, writing, Two weeks and three interviews later, hashtag leg shot, hashtag let's talk about it, and gave the track a rating of 6 out of 10. Some fans took the beef personally, and in September 2018, a man named Gabriel Rodriguez, also known as G-Rod, encountered MGK in a restaurant. G-Rod recorded himself approaching MGK and said, I'm gonna say it because it has to be said, you're a p you're a p for going for family. Visibly annoyed, MGK dismissed the fan after the disrespectful remark. Later that night, G-Rod was allegedly jumped by MGK's entourage at a nearby hotel. Although MGK himself was not seen in the footage, G-Rod initially threatened to sue the rapper, but later offered to drop the lawsuit if MGK agreed to settle their differences in a one-on-one -on -one fight in the octagon. MGK capitalized on the surge in publicity by appearing on The Breakfast Club to discuss various topics. When co-host Angela Yee noticed that two of his fingers were taped together, she asked about the injury, but MGK chose not to comment. However, DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God speculated that the injury was related to the alleged altercation with G-Rod. However, the main focus of the interview was MGK's feud with Eminem and their diss track. Seizing the moment, MGK announced that he was releasing a new EP titled Binge, just seven days after Eminem's kill shot was released. He admitted he was shamelessly using the publicity to boost his career. During the interview, MGK also revealed that his 2012 tweet about Eminem's daughter Haley had been discussed privately between him and Eminem's manager Paul Rosenberg, as that was the closest he could get to Eminem due to the rapper's reclusive nature. He claimed the issue had been resolved. You know, truth be told, we had handled it behind the scenes six years ago. He's a recluse. We can't find him. We didn't speak. I spoke to Paul Rosenberg and his team because that is as, mo as, as man to man as it gets with him. It all started with the daughter thing. However, MGK went on to say that shortly after the tweet, he was on a conference call with Diddy and Jimmy Iovine to discuss the matter. He mentioned this to support his argument that Eminem was indeed pulling strings behind the scenes, despite claiming otherwise. In the interview, MGK acknowledged that the best line from Eminem's kill shot was, I'd rather be 80-year-old me than 20-year-old you. 
but he downplayed its impact, suggesting that Eminem's track lacked the factual basis of Rap Devil. When Angela Yee asked if he would be open to a conversation with Eminem, MGK bluntly replied, Fuck you, you blew it, it's cool till it ain't. When asked why he didn't respond to Killshot with another diss track, MGK explained, I had a clip ready, I heard Killshot, and I put that shit back in the holster. I'm like, oh word, alright. He just, he called me a mumble rapper. Implying that Killshot wasn't on. strong enough to warrant a response. Look, I'm gonna say this to you, MGK, he do got bars. But he does sound like a mumble rapper. Because, like, I'm not gonna easily gonna say this. I'm not gonna easily gonna say this. From my perspective, Eminem has been in the rap game for years. Couldn't, like, 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 destroying people's careers. Man, he's been doing it for a long time. And, like, and I'm gonna say this too. I'm not dig, right, first of all, I'm not dig riding Eminem or MGK. I just fuck with the music. But MGK, he is cool. But he stopped, I think he stopped doing rap music because of Eminem, because M because of Killshot kind of like ended his career. And then he started doing rock music. He started doing punk rock music. And I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I started fucking with it too. So the music is good. So let's get back into it. He also mentioned that he was transitioning into pop punk at the time, having recently toured as an opener for the rock band Fall Out Boy and was losing interest in hip hop. According to MGK, it was Eminem's disses that pulled him back into the hip-hop scene. Shortly after the release of Rap Devil and Killshot, fans noticed that both Eminem and MGK, who were signed under the Interscope Records umbrella, had used Ronnie J as their producer. Ronnie J co-produced the diss tracks The Ringer and Not Alike on Eminem's Kamikaze album, which had been out for a few weeks, and was also credited as a co-producer on MGK's Rap Devil. This led some fans to speculate that the feud between the two artists was a marketing ploy orchestrated by Interscope to promote their music and boost record sales, capitalizing on the publicity generated by conflict. MGK addressed these rumors, stating that he had already had an EP in the works and specifically sought out Ronnie J to produce his diss track, aiming to level the playing field by using the same producer behind some of Eminem's tracks. He also dismissed the idea that the beef made him famous, pointing out that he had already sold over 20 million records, appeared in TV series, and starred in multiple movies before the feud with Eminem began. In February 2019, Eminem performed in Brisbane, Australia, where fans chanted for him to perform Killshot. Eminem responded saying, I would, but I can't give that for any more like. A few days later, while performing in Melbourne, Australia, fans chanted for him to perform the track once more. Eminem replied, suggesting that he believed he had already ended MGK's career during their feud. This game, you're not ready. In March 2019, Yellow Wolf, an artist signed to Eminem's Shady Records label, released his fifth studio album, Trunk Music 3. One of the standout tracks, Rowdy, featured Machine Gun Kelly and DJ Paul. In a 2019 interview with Hip Hop DX, Yellow Wolf revealed that the track was created before Eminem released his Kamikaze album. DJ Paul has suggested featuring both MGK and Eminem on the track. After MGK recorded his verse, Yellow Wolf sent the track to Eminem but received no response. Shortly afterward, Eminem released Kamikaze, which included various diss tracks aimed at MGK, effectively ending any chance of the collaboration. Later, Yellow Wolf reached out to Eminem, informing him about the track with MGK that he was enthusiastic about. Eminem responded, okay, dude, run it. People need to hear that, you know? Giving Yellow Wolf the green light to release the song despite their ongoing feud. The collaboration was particularly surprising given that Yellow Wolf and MGK had previously been at odds. Their feud started when MGK criticized others for mosh pitting, crowd surfing, or throwing water at rap shows, actions Yellow Wolf had incorporated into his performances. This led to a brief feud, which was resolved when they met in person and settled their differences. In the Hip Hop DX interview, Yellow Wolf praised Eminem for not being a hater and for allowing him the freedom to make his own decisions. He also expressed that he found MGK's Rap Devil really impressive and commended him for swiftly releasing the track in response to the numerous diss lines Eminem had included in Kamikaze. Yellow Wolf remarked, You'd be a hater to say, ah, oh, dude didn't hold it down for himself, because he did. And um, I commend him for it because Marshall's no easy task. In July 2019, MGK released his album, Hotel Diablo, which featured the track Floor 13, referencing his feud with Eminem. The song's opening refrain includes the lines, I just spent the winter living after someone tried to send a kill shot, missing me. Then later in the song he said, One legend that tried to f 
with me and then got the venom. By this time, MGK was increasingly incorporating rock and punk elements into his music, marking a transition that had started years earlier through his punk-inspired live performances. Hotel Diablo was a significant step towards his full embrace of a punk rock sound in his future project. In August 2019, nearly a year after the release of Kamikaze, Obi Trice told Hip Hop DX that MGK's diss track was the best he had heard against Eminem, stating, I will say that Machine Gun Kelly was probably the best record that I heard that ever diss Eminem. He's been in a lot of diss records with other people. I think that was probably the best one that came out. However, Obi also mentioned that he sided with Eminem in the feud, as he was his friend. On January 2020, Eminem released his surprise album, Music To Be Murdered By, and reignited his feud with MGK on the track, unaccommodated, with lines like, When they ask me is the war finished with MGK, of course it is. I cleansed him of his mortal sins. I'm God, and the Lord forgives even the devil worshippers. I'm moving on, but you know your scruples are gone when you're born with Lucifer's horns. Ooh. Despite the diss, MGK did not respond with a new track. In September 2020, MGK released his fifth studio album, Tickets to My Downfall, which was certified platinum and featured the hit single, My Ex's Best Friend, which achieved triple platinum status in the US and sold hundreds of thousands of copies internationally. This album marked MGK's full transition into a pop punk sound, leading some to speculate that the feud with Eminem had damaged his hip hop career, prompting his shift in musical direction. MGK spoke about the impact of the Eminem feud on the reception of his album, Hotel Diablo, during a November 2020 interview with Interview Magazine. He noted, as a hip hop album, it's flawless front to back, and also a hint at the evolution of how I went into a pop punk album. But it was coming off the tail end of that infamous beef with Eminem, so no one wanted to give it the time of day. This was one of MGK's first public acknowledgements that the feud with Eminem had negatively affected parts of his career. On December 2020, Eminem released a deluxe edition of his album titled Music To Be Murdered By, Side B, which included 16 new tracks. On the song Nat, Eminem rap, they come at me with machine guns, like trying to fight off a gnat. Then in the song Zeus, he took another shot at MGK with the line, Fair weather, wishy-washy, she thinks machine washed me, swear to God man, her favorite rapper wish he'd cross me. In response, MGK tweeted twice, I'm under your skin, and second, those subliminals with the laughing and trash emojis. You already track how far you've gone. The forecast each day. MGK focused on his own career, avoiding further public discussion about the feud or new diss tracks. Despite his genre shift, he continued to find success in music. His 2022 album, Mainstream Sellout, topped the Billboard 200 chart and was certified gold for selling 500,000 copies in the US. On June 2024, popular YouTuber Screwface Gene reviewed MGK's video for his song BMX It. During the review, Gene remarked that Eminem had won the battle against MGK, though he expressed respect for Kelly and anyone who participates in such conflicts. In response, MGK tweeted, to where it was shot in Cleveland on CSU staircase and another spot on the west side of the city, and the pool, I just emptied it in my backyard. Also, he didn't win. On July 2024, Eminem released his 12th studio album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grasse, which had been announced earlier that year by Dr. Dre on The Jimmy Kimmel Show. On the track, Bad One, Eminem referenced his feud with MGK with the lines, but I gotta keep going Tyson on Kelly, I bodied him twice and already, that little mother back throwing subs like a food fight at the deli. Oh. MGK appeared to respond the following day with a tweet okay. that read simply, G-O-M-D, which stands for Get Off My D. In August 2024, during the hater. third annual MGK Day celebrations in his hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, MGK performed Rap Devil with altered lyrics. Instead of the original line, homie, we get it, we know that you're the greatest rapper alive, he sang, homie, we get it, you're not the greatest rapper alive. The concept behind the death of Slim Shady was to mark the end of Eminem's Slim Shady alter ego, a persona he associated with many of the controversial statements and themes in his music since the release of the Slim Shady EP in 1997. The idea was that retiring the Slim Shady character would allow him to distance himself from past conflicts and outdated aspects of his persona. This theme was articulated in the song Guilty Conscience 2, where Eminem expressed his intention to stop investing energy in his past feuds. In the song he rapped, Christopher, MGK, Nick, and for Lit Biscuit and them, Midgets and Ben, Zeno, in addition to him, Will Smith, and to Cannabis. If you're listening, this is the end. So to Jamar and Ja Rule, and to all, my feuds including mine. 
It remains unknown whether this album would truly be the last time Eminem addresses Machine Gun Kelly. This place will not break us. Look, I'm not gonna he's gonna say this to anybody. But MGK, MGK got what he deserved. Like, like, and I'm gonna say this to you. I'm not gonna take sides and I'm not and I'm gonna say this to you. I do listen to, I do listen to um Machine Gun Kelly. I ain't gonna lie to you. I do listen to some of his songs. Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. I do start fucking with punk rock music. Cause some sometimes like I really am getting tired. Getting tired of listening to other rap music all the time. I listen to Eminem too. I'm gonna let y'all know this. Eminem is the greatest rapper alive. Everybody, everybody trying to pick on this man. They trying to pick up. They always trying to pick a fight with this man because they want to get into a war. Everybody know he nasty on the mic. Like, and I'm gonna let y'all know this. People need to get off this man's dick and leave him alone because he don't say shit to nobody. I don't know what to say. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you guys in the next video. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.